Hey y'all. Um, I keep getting asked why I'm not cutting down those canna lilies since they're so tattered and eaten. Um, since I just transplanted them, it would have been the perfect time to pretty them up a little bit, tidy them up, and get rid of all of those other leaves and give the roots time to grow. But there's a reason that I did not um, cut all those leaves off and I'm going to show you why. So here they are, and as you can see, a lot of the leaves have been just eaten, and let's see if I can find you an example of, okay, you see how this is rolled up right here? I can't really show you what's down in there, but... I took a picture last night, which I'm going to put on the screen here in a few minutes, of the reason, see if you can see this, of the reason that these are getting all eaten. Now you see this webbing? Remember that webbing. My chickens like to come, they know what's in there and they like to come over here and eat the leaf rollers they're caterpillars and what they do is they will they will um, eat your plant and you'll see them at night and they roll the leaf over it makes kind of a little cocoon for them. Not seeing any more on these. You can see where they've been. And if I cut off the leaf or spray it, then I run the risk of killing the caterpillars. And I have no desire to do that. See if you can see the little guy in here. He's in here. I just barely see him. Let's see. Can you see him? See him looking out at me? My hands shake. Let's see if I can. See him in there? Okay. So anyway, they're all over these plants. And they are going to turn into to, um, butterflies. And I don't consider butterflies a pest. So why would I cut these back when it's providing food for a valuable insect? The butterfly is the large brown skipper butterfly. otherwise known as a canna skipper. They have about a 40 day life cycle and they play a very important role in our ecosystem because they're a food source for other organisms. Birds, like I said, my chickens eat them. Canna lilies are a very hardy plant. As you can see right here, I already have new growth on these transplanted ones and Eventually, I'll be able to just remove, I'll just be able to remove these that aren't looking so pretty. The leaves, that is, not the whole plant. Until then, we're going to tolerate what the leaf rollers are doing so that we can have some skipper butterflies. And that is the reason behind why I am not cutting these down to the ground. Now I'm aware that there are some gardeners who would be immediately spraying these leaf rollers and trying to get them off of their plants because the look of the plant is more important to them. It is not more important to me. However you want to do your garden, it's fine with me. This is just how I do my garden. Don't let me give you the wrong idea. 
because if I see a hornworm on my tomatoes, it's coming off. But I don't eat canna lilies. I only let the leaf rollers eat them. So I hope that makes sense. I hope I have explained the leaf rollers and the skipper butterflies and why I'm allowing this to continue. You guys have a good night.